A few weeks ago, I asked in one of my YouTube videos what brand you would like to see next. Gave you guys a list of brands I've never tried before. It was very clear that the two winners were Set Active and Lazuli Label. Lazuli. Lazuli. Lazuli? I still don't know. I'm Italian. Automatically, I want to say Lazuli Label. Pasta Lazuli. Rigatoni. Lazuli just sounds like something you would order in an Italian restaurant, so that's why I keep saying it. My brain goes automatically to Lazuli label. We're gonna look it up right now. How do you actually pronounce this? For crying out loud. Dear Google, how the f do you. Lazuli. Okay. Thank you, Google. Lazuli it is, but if I do say Lazuli, please, for the past, since I've known about this brand for like a year, that's what I think of. So if I say that again, don't hold me to it. Thanks to your suggestions, I shopped at their end of summer sale. Your girl was able to save a couple bucks. Props to you guys. Lazuli Label is actually an influencer run brand. You might know this already, but in case you don't, Taylor Katie and Sarah Grace, they actually both work with Alphaly, which is pretty cool. They got good taste. So I got a small little baby fall haul going on. I didn't want to go too ham because this is my first time trying them. Wanted to see if I actually like the pieces and then we can make bigger hauls in the future if we like them. This has been on their homepage for quite some time. And when I saw it, I knew off the bat, I said, That's what I said, all right? I had some of you gals suggesting this acid wash and I'm really glad that I got my hands on the whole set. So we have the vest, we have the leggings, and we have the long sleeve zip up. This is in the color bronze brown. I feel like if acid wash is done right, it could really make a piece look sick. However, if it's done wrong, it looks like it was a mistake, like bleach got on it in the washing machine. I think this heavy rib paneling with the acid wash gives so much dimension and break up to the legging. It's just a really beautiful piece. I think it's a very aesthetic set overall. So the set's made out of their Zarna material. That sounds like an 80s warrior. Z sitcom. You're thinking you're thinking of uh Zena. Zena warrior. Yeah. yeah. Zarna fabric is a soft, stretchy yarn blend. Perfect for gym and day-to-day -day wear. Good for lounging or hitting the gym. Is it really? Is it? A lot of brands do say they're good for both, but then again, I'm super picky with what I want to sweat in. I gotta touch base on something that's bothering me right now. And I'm not even trying to be funny when I say this. This is by far the smelliest set I've ever put on my body. I'm gonna have to shower after this. That's no joke. How can something so beautiful smell so bad? I'm not trying to be overly judgy. I'm not trying to be mean. I just, I need to tell you that this smells like straight up moth balls. Like worse than my parents' basement. And that's saying something. Right out the bag I smelled it. It wafted right into my face. And now that I'm actually putting it on, I have to relive that all over again. This is smelly, dude. Lasley, I don't know what you're doing over there, where you're keeping your inventory, but let this feedback tell you something. You gotta store it somewhere better. <laughs> Smells like shit. And that's going for this entire set. The jacket, the leggings, and the bra. The other one was fine, it's just this set that's smells angry. So starting with the set as a whole, beautiful, isn't it? This is a masterpiece, I love it. I think the acid wash with this color, mm, the acid wash is even, it flows so nicely, it looks put together, not like a mistake, no patchy weirdness going on. It is overall such a beautiful look. This color works with the acid wash because this color looks like a rustic vintage type of shade. So I feel like this is the perfect trifecta. Really nice acid wash, the ribbing and detailing work, and the shade. Now let's talk actual material. Overall pretty soft. I feel like the side ribbing is a little softer than the rest of it. It's very thick though, so keep that in mind. Maybe this is great because you know you got the cooler weather coming. I had no intention of wearing this to the gym and I still stand by that. Here's why. Number one, the top. Let's talk about the top. This vest has no support whatsoever in it. Granted, it's got a really nice thick material, so you're pretty good. You're not gonna really see any nip, but there's no padding, no built-in liner, nothing. I really wish I went with the halter version. There's a really pretty sports bra version of this, so if you're looking to actually wear it to the gym, you might wanna grab that one. This vest, you gotta wear something underneath it, and you know me, as I'm getting older, I don't like to be inconvenienced. So if I have to grab something else to put under something that I just bought, I'm instantly pissed off. <laughs> I love the simple racer back. There's a little room here, especially because 
it's even coming off my skin from the side. You can see that, so size down. This is what's telling me this is more of just a crop shirt, something cute to wear in the fall time. The leggings, this is in my true size small. Just like the top comes off my skin, so does the band area. There's a nice gape right in the front here. Just standing, nevertheless. I do think sizing down would help, but there's not a ton of stretch here. So I wouldn't want to sacrifice the comfort of the rest of the legging if I size down. I think I would stick to my true size small, especially I don't plan a squat. I don't plan a workout and sweat in this thing. So who cares if the band's a little bit loose? I'm actually going to an Apple Fest early October. I plan to wear these leggings with a really nice cozy cardigan and some fall boots. What tells me these are definitely more fashion than gym wear are the zippers on the bottom. That's a cool little touch. Don't mind me being a shooby. Does anybody else wear that? <laughs> if you're wondering, I finally got on the Cloud Slides bandwagon. That's all I'm wearing around the house right now. I love these. Literally feels like you're walking on a cloud. So you normally don't see this feature on gym leggings. It's safe to say this is just meant, you could even wear heels with it and show off your ankle a little bit. This is meant to be dressed up or dressed down. Now I know I did a little bit of nitpicking with the smell and the certain things like that. But I have to keep it real, the quality in these pieces are insane. To top it off, I did grab their jacket. You have the matching zipper on the wrist, just like the leggings. Really cool, not the easiest to unzip. Kinda gotta take the jacket off, you can't really do it while you're wearing the jacket. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Silly me. But I did struggle when I first put this on a few days ago. Keep that in mind, a little tricky. Beautiful little touch though, if you wanna add a little flair at the end of your wrist. So this is more of a midi jacket, not necessarily cropped, not super long. You're still gonna show off the glutes, but I do like the fact that it covers my entire stomach. I feel like this is something a badass warrior in the middle ages would wear. Just put on some armor and <laughs> The acid wash makes it look raw and unfinished. I feel like unfinished colors and patterns make for the perfect fall look. It looks earthy, it looks rustic almost mimics a brown leaf that fell off the tree. Nice stretch, out of everything, this jacket is actually the stretchiest of them all. My stomach is still covered even when moving around. So overall, on a cool fall day, this set, perfect. I clearly bought that set because aesthetically it is absolutely stunning, but I also bought another separate set that I believed would be a little more gym friendly. I got these sculpt seamless leggings, you guys. You told me if there's anything I have to get from Lazuli label that it would be the sculpt leggings. And apparently according to their website, this is their best selling legging for years. So it's safe to say I had high expectations. According to them, it's made from a marled fabric which provides a smoothing effect. They feature ribbing detail around the upper thigh and waistband to provide a flattering compression. And that they do. It was very difficult at first for me to get the legging up past my thighs because there's some stellar compression going on around that area. If you look closely, look at this rib. It, you can see where the legging actually gets tighter, right here. And I paired it with the piped open back Racer. I was like, all right, I need to pair it with solid brown leggings. So this is made of their NOLA fabric. It's known for being soft and stretchy while still giving you the support to tackle any workout. The added contour lines give the illusion of a slimmed waist. Now I'm not gonna lie, when I wore this, I, my mind didn't go there like, oh look at it, this actually slimmed my waist out. <laughs> I didn't think like that, I just kept looking at how aesthetic and badass I felt in this bra. This is really cute. This I actually had to size down to an extra small because they ran out of my true size. However, I'm so glad I got it because guess what? This was the cheapest of the bunch. While everything was discounted by a couple bucks, maybe five, maybe 10, this was $10, $10 bra. Extra small sports bra works surprisingly well. I love the high neck. I think it's very beautiful and elegant. Love how supportive this is. They were not wrong with this material. It's actually very, very supportive even jumping around. I mean, I wouldn't, because there's nothing built in here. There's no liner, there's no bra pads, but it is double layered. I'm not even seeing any option to insert bra pads. Not a huge deal, I still feel the really nice support. And again, I worked out at the gym and everything was fine up here. And it's designed in such a way with these thick straps that nothing's digging. I wore this all day and it felt fine. What's going on over here? There's a ribbed compression and I'm just trying to get it up. <laughs> Nothing snapping. 
Holy shnikes, right here. Slowly working my way up and it's okay. I have faith in this legging, I really do. It has potential, but like right here, you see this rib? This rib right here, like look at there's no stretch whatsoever, but like right down here, there's this much stretch. Like look at this stretch on the, the waistband, but this ribbed compression doesn't budge. So I'm gonna try to get this ribbed compression underneath my glutes as much as possible to pucker up my booty. So now that I put the leggings on a few more times, they're definitely easier. Like each time putting them on, it got easier. So starting with the band and working our way down, the band is not very compressive. In my small, I have a little bit of let up here. Moving around to the glute area, again, I feel very restricted right here. Like there's not enough material going on around my glutes. I also feel like the lack of glute space makes my glutes shrink a little bit because the band is so low to my bum. And because these are gym leggings, this is something I care about unlike the acid wash. But with that being said, there's a ton of compression. So if you're looking for some high impact leggings, I think I found them for you. Unlike the acid wash that had the gold plated logo that was kind of resembling the Whitney, that gold plated logo on the Whitney collection. This set actually has a printed logo, relatively squat proof, not bad because it's so tight back here. I thought it'd be a lot worse. I would say if you're in between size up, I know for me, if I could do it all over again, I would probably size up. That's just me. I need a little more space right around here. All right guys, so that was my very first official review of Lazuli Label. I really love that I don't have to pick a favorite because each set serves a different purpose for me. Despite the weird first impression with the mothball smell, not gonna lie, that did put a little damper on my initial opinion of the brand. But nevertheless, after really testing out these pieces and wearing them, I think there's a ton of potential with this brand. I think they did a great job on the pieces. The quality is definitely there. That's the main thing I look out for, especially when trying newer brands. Thank you guys so much for your recommendations on these pieces. Definitely do not forget to subscribe. We have a ton more fun videos to come. More athlete, buff bunny, some gym shark, and up next will be set active. Once I receive those pieces, well, once they launch and then I buy them and then receive them, you'll be getting that video too. As always, comment down below any other brands you'd like to see. I still have my list, I'm checking it twice, and little by little, we're finding out who's naughty or nice. Love you guys so much, thank you for being here. I gotta go take a shower now. Scrub that mothball smell off my shoulders a bit. Love you guys, and I'll catch you in my next video. How do you say it again? Lazuli, okay, holy fuck. It's not adjustable, but I feel what? What was I saying? Oh my god. <laughs> now just keep in mind that that's standing straight up, so if you lean on this, it can fall, okay? Well. Can you see what I say? Did I not tell you? What did I say? Oh man, that's blooper reel right there. That's the blooper reel. Oh, Lord.